Well, you've heard of a dog fight and a pub fight. Well, this is both. Archer the Border Collie has a brewery named after him. It's a place for him to have a pint with his pooch pals. Well, it was until one person complained. Probably the best behaved patrons in here, to be honest. It was always our plan to have dogs allowed here. People want to go out with their dogs now. That's obviously been taken away from us recently and we're, we're willing to fight for that. Aircraft Ales and Archer the Dog in an old hangar turned brewery. It's owned by Stuart Martin, his wife Lucy, and this is their much-loved pet, a border collie who's caused one almighty storm in a pint glass. Archer's my best friend. Yeah. We always hang out together. So let's explain how this all took off. Stuart's a pilot, and the first plane he flew was a Piper Archer aircraft. He loved the single-engine private plane so much, the couple named their dog Archer. And when they opened the brewery, they named their pub after their best mate. It was sort of a match made in heaven for us. Archer Brewing was born. Based in Brisbane, they're doing things differently, crafting a golden goodness that's uniquely all-Australian. So, Australian beer and an Australian place to drink it. Yep, without a doubt, with a Scottish guy at the helm. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just trying to be as Australian as we can be. When doors opened, everyone was welcome, including our four-legged friends, with Archer becoming a local mascot. Something we really tried to focus on from the start was this space to be for everyone in the family, as well as, you know, Mum, dad, kids, and uh, and dogs included. We built it around knowing we wanted dogs, so we put doors on all of those areas to completely lock them off. With good beer and plenty of good boys and girls, the pub's popularity was booming. Normally, rock legends and celebrities adorn the walls of your local watering hole, but at this pub, it's four-legged ones that take pride of place. Even a portrait of the namesake, canine Captain Archer. We've both worked in hospitality for 30 years. I've definitely had worse human beings in pubs than any dog I ever had in here. Most of them sat perfectly well behaved underneath their owners. But one single complaint means Archer has hit turbulence. If a member of the public complains, that's it, you're gone. There's no ability to combat that. And the devil is in the doggy detail. The rules say you can't have dogs in food processing areas. We took food handling areas to mean the kitchen, it's also the bar and the brewery as well. The problem is then when you look further into the food standards, there's another section that has a definition of food handling which includes where food is served. They tried to find a compromise with council, but there's nothing that works for their venue, meaning Archer and his four-legged friends are all in the doghouse, banned from the pub, now left without its namesake and, according to the owners, its identity. The brewery's furry fans became such an integral part of the place, Stuart and Lucy decided to introduce pooch pints. Two bucks a round and all the money went to charity, but with no customers the keg's gone dry. It's effectively just chicken stock in a keg that's carbonated. Now Lucy and Stuart are getting ready to take this dog fight to the next level. Starting a petition, um, trying to get a bit of momentum behind us before we then uh, progress on to hopefully um, taking it to state government and, and trying to get the law changed, essentially. This law was written in 2008 and opinions on dogs from 2008 to now have completely changed. In a statement to a current affair, Brisbane City Council agrees, saying there should be room for venue owners to have some flexibility. With common sense federal and state laws, council would be able to work with local businesses to help them find areas at their venues where dogs can go. But the laws that prohibit dogs from indoor dining areas are based on Australia's National Food Standards Code. The Federal Department of Health telling us the code does not permit dogs in food preparation and handling areas to minimise food safety risks. But should the brewery owner wish to have the regulations changed, an application could be provided to Food Standards Australia New Zealand for consideration. 
it's not something we're just going to roll over uh, and give up on. We, we love when we were able to bring Archer, our dog, here. This is his second home, really. It's named after him, so you can't really kick him out, or you can kick him out of it, but you shouldn't be able to kick him out of it. <laughs> yeah, here, here. I mean, come on, if you don't like dogs in a bar, that's fine, right? Go somewhere else. And we're just hoping here that Lucy and Stuart can get that law changed for everyone.